Hey guys, RC here. Welcome back to the channel. And this is our five year flash forward for the FM21 beta save that I did with Leeds United. So the goal of uh, the save was staying up. We came in, we did finish mid table and uh, upper mid table uh, both years uh, of the save. So staying up, we were very successful. I have not looked at the game. I've simmed ahead five years. You can see that uh, after resigning in 2022, uh, we are now in 2027. And we are at the end of the year, I hope. And yes, they have finished the season mid-table once again. So let's take a just a five-year snapshot. Let's take a look at how leads have fared. We'll go back to the beginning just to remind everybody we finished 12th our first year on 49 points second year we finished in europa qualifying in fifth position on 66 points and a plus 33 goal differential i might add so that was a successful season uh southampton aston villa <coughs> and bournemouth getting relegated and then so moving ahead our first year after we left, mid-table, 11th place, 43 points. 10th place, 53 points, and qualified for the Euro Cup. That's interesting. 16th position, only four points clear of relegation. That's a little scary. And then back solidly mid-table, 46 points, 12th position, and the current season, 11th position, 47 points. So, eh, you know, they've, they've done a little bit. Let's take a look at, uh, at the club itself. So Euro Cup 2. So they lost to Man City in the Euro Cup 2 finals. That was the year after I left. So that's actually not bad. They got to the finals. Lost to Real San Sebastian in the Euro Cup second round knockout on aggregate and Group D. Third in Euro Cup Group D. I guess that advanced them and then they made it to the finals that year. Uh, Saturday, that second year when they finished 10th and qualified, they lost on aggregate. All right, so, you know, at least they got to a European competition. Didn't win it, which is okay. Uh, let's take a look at head coaches. So I resigned after two years. They brought in Juan Manuel, Manuel Lillo, and he lasted two and a half years before he was sacked. He won the cup in the he won the FA Cup that year. All right. And he is currently at Lazio after getting fired from Leeds. Diego Reyes was my assistant manager, so he got the interim position, left the interim position. Marco Silva came in. He lasted just over two years before getting sacked. And he is unemployed at present time. Mark Jackson was our U23 coach, manager. So he, he took over as the interim, and then Roberto De Zerbi has been on board for about a month and a half here at the end of this season. So that's what's going on there. All right, going in and looking at uh, transfers. So let's go back. All right, so that was my first year, my second year. Yeah, we, we signed Grief. Okay, so this would be end of the year after I left. Yep, so this would be right after I left. All right, so they they signed Melvin Bard from Olympic Leon for 3.7, sold Jack Harrison to Fulham for 15 and a half. How has Jackie done? So we brought him in for 11, sold him immediately because remember we just bought him that that year. So four goals, eight assists. I mean, he's played well for him. Wonder if he had injuries with Burnsley or Fulham or did he oh he must have got sold, but that's still only 19 matches. 15 matches for Fulham that year. 
and 14 reserves. Wow. 28 starts, 35 starts, 14 reserve, 9 reserve, and then sold. 5 starts, 5 reserve, and then you know 22 starts in the league for Burnsley. All right, so back down to the championship for him, unfortunately. But he's done pretty well. Seven goals, six assists. So that was our first year. They also loaned out Leaf Davis. So we're just looking for our players. I'm not really caring about who they brought in. All right, so Pascal Stroik, who was a regular for us, went out on loan. Robbie Gotts left to Feyenoord on a free. Sam Greenwood went to Houston in the MLS. How has he done? We paid 1.9. He was good. 16 goals. Yeah, I don't think they should have gotten rid of him. 50 goals in 154 matches. I think he would have been our he could have been striker of the future for us. Uh Jan Paveda goes out on loan, McCalmont loan. Uh, Joe Haig was one of our young players, sold for seven fifty. Some loans. Bastos, remember, we couldn't get a work uh, work permit for him. Gaston Silva goes to Nationale for seven hundred and fifty thousand. We paid one point seven, so we take a big hit as he goes to Uruguay and then back to Italy. He came from Uruguay and then was with Italy. We got him from Argentina. No, we got him from Uruguay. He was with Nacional and then went back to Nacional. Hmm. Starting a lot of matches. I mean, definitely a regular starter since going back. Not playing badly. His last year in Serie A took a step back. So, yeah, I don't think he's a top flight player probably a second division player, and that's why he never really broke in with us, even though we wanted him to. Uh, Cameron Carter Vickers goes to Burnsley for $2.2 million after we signed him for on a free. So we made a little profit. Burnley made a nice profit, and he has been a regular starter. So it's good to see that as an American player. You guys forgot I'm an American, so I like to see Americans do well in the game. But he he can never crack the lineup for us. Just He was depth, and that's all he was ever going to be for us. Stuart McKinstry out on loan. Uh, Walukowicz goes for $3.5 million, and he is now with Sheffield United. He's made quite a few moves. So we signed him for 9.5, center back and didn't play a lot. That was a, probably a poor signing on my part. Didn't play my uh didn't play the year after I left. Only one appearance. He was sold that year to Yvonne, to Levante for 3 and a half million. Started 9 matches for him. Started 19 his second year there. Came back to England for 5 and a half. Immediately went to Red Bull Salzburg in Austria for 4.7. And then Sheffield United has picked him up. But again, only one appearance this past season. Interesting. Uh, Oliver Casey, Noah Kenna, a couple of our young guys go out on loan. Jordan Stevens out on loan. Mrozek, I don't know who that is. Joe Gelhart loaned out. Elder Costa fell out of favor with me. Uh, not that he wasn't a bad player, but he got injured, and Rafinha just was a great player for us. So he goes to Sivaspor, 7.75. I don't know where that's at. I'm guessing Turkey. Yeah, Turkey. There you go. So 7.5 after we paid $20 million for him. I didn't. He was already with the club. But uh, he did stay one more season. But you can see that the year he was injured, only nine reserve appearances. And then three reserve the following year before they sold him for 7.75. And he's been back in the starting lineup regularly. Only eight matches last year. wonder if he got hurt again. But 30, 28 starts this year. Six goals. I mean, he's, he's finding goals from a wing position. He had a nice assist season. 
Not bad for Costa. Some more loans, Alfie McCalmott. Uh, David Konacki was that uh, third striker that we brought in. He goes to Brighton for $31.5 million. We bought him for 6.75, so that's a nice little profit. That helped him out a little bit. Uh, never really found. I mean, he was he was first choice off the bench for sure, uh, but you know, and he was scoring goals, playing well. But he was not my top choice that we had there with Rodrigo and Guiri. Brighton signs him for 31 and a half. Starts 17 games the first year. 10 starts, 11 reserves the second year, and then 20 reserves. Burnley pick him up down in the championship for 37 and a half. Wow. And 36 starts, 13 goals. 39 starts, 13 goals. Playing well at that level. So definitely a championship quality striker, and I think he could do the job in the Premier, just not going to be a star but he did he did a job as what he was, which was a reserve. So they made some money on him, so that's good. Uh, Jan Paveda went out on loan. Esgayo es goes to Wolves for 9.75. So he, you remember, I signed him for 21.5 million. He was our big signing, right wing, wanted him in there, and just he he wasn't very good. I mean, every time we watched him, he, he struggled. He made mistakes. 6.73, only 80% passing. I just wasn't happy with him. Uh, and then my, the year after I left, 13 starts. He didn't play badly, but still, no goals, uh, no assists. Two goals, no assists. Uh, Wolves pick him up for 9.75, a cheap signing for them. Uh, 11 starts, no goals, three assists, and he's just really never done anything. He went back to Spain at Velicano and did not feature that year. 36 starts, got one goal last year, and 22 reserves, so he's back on the bench. So, yeah, not very happy with him and probably a bad signing. Zach Steffen, they pick up $7 million. Where did he come from? They bought him the year after I left, so that was not one of my players. Brought him in for seven and a quarter, sold him before the uh, at the end of the season. Moving into the next year, Cody Drama out on loan. Stroik goes to Feyenoord on a free. Bogut's goes to Ibar on a free. Uh, Somerville goes to on a free to Haravine. Rafinha sold to PSG for. $50 million, and he's only 30. Boy, boy, boy. We paid a lot of money for this guy, so we paid, we, we paid $28.5 million, and there were some add-ons in there because there was a time there we, were, we paid like three or four add-ons in like a week. <laughs> but uh, the two years he played for me, 27 starts, four goals, seven assists. 28 starts, 9 goals, 5 assists. That was his record year for us. And then uh, he did play one more year, 31 starts, 7 goals, 5 assists. Sold him to PSG for $50 million, where he was mostly a reserve. And then uh, didn't only played two matches uh, in 2025 and then was sold back to Ron or, or Ren for $29.5 million. Uh, so they basically paid a million dollars to get him back at 30 years old. So not a bad deal for them. Really, really sad to lose him, but what a career. I mean, he was so good for us. I would like to have him for an entire career. Alfie McCalmont, Swansea for 1.3. Stuart Dallas goes to Norwich for 9.5 million. Leeds had bought him from Brentford for two. So here's the two years he played for me. 26 starts the year after I left, and then they sell him on. Uh, never really a goal scorer, but, you know, he did have three that one year with us. But, you know, solid player, you know, and now he's currently with the MLS in Montreal on a free. 
Noah Kenna loaned out again. McKistry. McKistry, I've never seen this before. He was part of a player exchange. That's interesting. <clears throat> so that's here. So they went out and bought Tyrick Mitchell from Burnley for 30 and a half and then threw in McKinstry as part of the deal. Well, he never made an appearance. He was immediately loaned out to Hull, where he didn't play bad. Nashville. <coughs> and then Vancouver picked him up for 1.7, another MLS transfer. And he's played decently for him. Nothing to be ashamed of. Uh, Joe Gelhart, $10 million to Watford. Didn't he come out of Watford? He did. Okay, no, no, no. He came out of Wigan. That's right. We paid 1.3 for him from Wigan. Yes. Financial troubles. I remember now. All right, so we loaned him out. Coventry, 11 goals, 40, 40 starts. Blackburn, my second year. Came back to Leeds, had five reserve appearances the year after I left. Loaned out to West Brom, sold to Watford for 10, goes to Leicester for 12, and just went to Newcastle for 37. I'm thinking Leeds might have wanted to hold on to this kid. I'm thinking that was a bad move. Now, Newcastle's in the championship, it looks like, so maybe it's just a step down. Cresswell out on loan. Bastos, they end up selling for $5.5 million. Never played for Leeds. We paid $7.75 for him. Couldn't get the work permit. Remember, that was the year I did the science experiment because I didn't know how the uh, work permits were going to work. I thought maybe he could slot in as a foreign player, but they did not allow that. So a couple of years out on loan. Sold to West Brom for five and a half. So lost uh, two, $2 million. And I guess he was able to get a work permit there. Go figure. I think that's just Leeds luck. And then he goes to Dijon for 1.4 in France. 19 starts. And then has been loaned out from League 1 to the Bundesliga with uh, Freiburg. And he's got three starts, six reserves. So I don't know if he ever would have panned out for us, but that was just a wasted signing. Leif Davis goes to Stoke for a million. That's not a guy that we signed. Jack Jenkins on loan. That's not my guy. Going into the next year, so this would be a couple of seasons ago, Paveda goes to Bristol City on a free. So we had signed him from Man City for an undisclosed amount prior to, this would have been FM 19. Played a few matches for us, went out on loan, went to New York on loan, Reading, went to Bristol City on a free, got 26 starts, Derby seven and a quarter million, and four goals, one assist in eight starts, 21 reserve appearances. And 13 and 12 with three goals and one assist with Swansea. So <clears throat> looking at his ratings, really never developed as a player. That's too bad. Again, just looking for our players. There's another loan for Jenkins, Drama. Those are some of the youngsters currently that were with our U23 side. That wasn't our guy. Cresswell goes to Birmingham for five hundred and seventy-five thousand. He's he came up in the Leeds system. Only has the one goal with Oxford. That's tell you what, he's tearing it up in real life, so that's disappointing. Jack Jenkins, another loan. Balde was not our guy. Castorati was not our guy. Noah Kenna out on loan. All right, here we go. Rodrigo. So Rodrigo goes to Bologna on a free this last uh, last season. And he is currently unemployed. Valencia, we paid 35 and a half for him. He was with the club at the start of FM21. So 
18 go 12 goals, 18 goals are two seasons, right? That's correct. Really big year, led the team in scoring, finished third in the Premier League in the Golden Boot, had 10 assists as well. The year after I left, 33 starts, seven goals, 25 starts, five goals, and then three starts, two goals, and then sold him at the end of that season. So, yeah, that's uh, 36 years old now. So that's not surprising. That's not surprising. So, you know, his career just wound down, you know. He's at that retirement age, basically. So a good career for him. He ended up with um, 118 goals, 451 matches. And he had ended up with 48 caps and 16 goals for Spain. So not bad. Not bad at all. Cody Drama out on loan again. Jamie Shackleton, Shacks, goes to... You know, the way Brighton did us with Ben White this past year, I, I really don't have any love for Brighton whatsoever. Uh, don't want to see any players going there. Jamie Shackleton, one of our bright spots who really broke in with me, uh, goes off to Brighton where he is still at. So he came up in our system. Four goals, three goals, eight assists that second year. No. The first year, 24 starts the second year, played two more years, 12 starts and 28 starts, really didn't find the assist. I'm wondering if, uh, you know, I don't know what the deal would be tactically or whatever, uh, but then he goes to Brighton for 35 and a half, go, goes for four assists on the first year and three goals and four, six assists the second year with Brighton. So, you know, I think he was turning into a really good player. And he's still only 27, so he's got a long ways to go still, probably four or five years. Anybody else that gets my attention? Urente, he goes to Al Garafa for 3.1. So, Leeds in real life just signed him for $23.5 million. Uh, second highest, third highest fee paid in club history, I believe. Uh, my two years, uh, he did 29 starts. We had him partnered up with Robin Koch because we had gotten rid of Liam Cooper and stayed with Leeds for a few years, 14 starts, seven off the bench, became more of a bench player, and then really faded out there. Went to Al Garafa for four, started nine, started 25 and played well in Qatar. He's only 33, but boy, his physicals really fell off the face of the earth, didn't they? Technically very solid, mentally very solid, but his physicals just disappeared. Uh, so, yep, that turned out to be uh, a short-lived run for him, I'm afraid. And we just didn't get a whole lot out of that. Elia Capriel, who is currently one of the reserve keepers for Leeds uh, in the U23 and U18 squads, he goes off to Criminess for 37 and a half. Cody Drama, one of our current real life youngsters, to Nottingham Forest, 675. Jack Jenkins, another young youngster from our uh, youth system, 825 to West Ham. And nobody else there. And the last season. So Noah Kenna never makes an impact with the club, goes off to the MLS on a free. Tanali, okay, there's a name I recognize, and that's the only one on there. He goes to Real Madrid for $49 million, potentially $83 million with add-ons, and they've paid $72 to date. Taking a look at him, he's only 27. Only 27. We paid $28 million, so nice profit. And, you know, he had six years at Leeds, five years, I guess. Got sold early on. So my two years, regular starter, 37 starts, eight goals, eight assists, 10 goals, five assists, seven goals, 12 assists. And then he was starting, had two goals in four matches, playing very well. And I guess Real Madrid just popped an offer that they couldn't turn down. 
I think I would have went for more uh, based on how he was performing. I would have looked for a hundred million there. But what do I know? Still very solid player. Still very solid player. All right, so we've seen the players that have left, but let's see who's still here. All right, Ilian Meslier is still here, goalkeeper. He's now a whopping 27 years old, just coming into his prime. We had seen him make his international debut for France, and now he has 16 caps, so that's good. So he had had that really good season with us and then gave up more. First year I was gone, gave up 55. So from a goal-saving standpoint, he was not the same player after we left. Now, he only allowed 37 in 33 that year, so that's good. And I think that's the year they finished 10th but qualified for the Euros. But 47 and 55 is rough. I might have been tempted to look for somebody else after that year. But still, their number one keeper. Starting every match, never coming off the bench. Okay, So he's turned out well. Libramento, that was not our player, but the name is familiar. Calvin is still there. All of 31 years old for the club legend. I believe, I believe he is a legend in real life. Uh, but let's see. Came up in the system. All right. Three goals, seven assists my first year. Two goals, three assists. Found more goals but less assists the year after I left. And then 11 assists. Uh, two years later, and you can see Leeds did stay in the Premier League every year. So we gave him a good foundation, a good building base, had some solid players that a few of them they were able to sell for nice profits, Rafinha and Tonali. Robin Koch is still there. He's 30 now, so still. And you can see the difference between him and uh, Urente. He still has his pace. Acceleration has dropped off. You know, still, that's a, that's a solid career for what we paid for him. Of course, he was with the club when we took over. That wasn't one of our acquisitions, but still there. Uh, let's see. Deli Alley. Ugh. Not a Deli Alley fan. I mean, he looks to be a good player. I just... 77 goals for Tottenham. 24 and 90 for Leeds. So, of course, come up through MK Dons, went to Tottenham. Leeds bought him for $47 million. 6, 8, 10, 24 goals and 11 assists. Is that worth $47 million? I don't know. I don't know. Amin Guiri, there was my favorite signing. Let's take a look at him, and he is the last guy, I believe. So remember, we signed him for $15 million. That was my second season because we didn't have money the first year. But that was my big signing. He responded with 17 goals. Nine, nine, eight, then three, and then four. Now, only 13 starts, 17 reserve appearances last year. Year before, nine reserve appearances, 21 starts. I still would have expected more than three or four goals, but, you know, 50 goals for Leeds. I mean, that's, you know, and he's only 27. I think if we would have stayed, he'd probably be 70 goals probably, 70 to 75 if I had to guess. And I think he would be right on pace to fulfill what I thought he could be. Maybe not as good as the uh, FM 17 or 18 version of Guiri that I had, but uh, when he was all everything, uh, golden boot winner, world player of the year, all that other stuff. All right, let's see. What else? All right, so 20, this was the year they won the league in real life. So our first year, 12th, 5th, 11th, 10th, 16th, 12th. So definitely an established 
Premier League side at this point. Calvin Phillips in the process of a board takeover. Hmm. All right, Legends. Let's see. Favored personnel. So Tenali made favored personnel. Tarek Mitchell. That's a current player, so that's a new addition. Of course, Alan Clark, Gary Speed, Gary Kelly, Viduka, Batty, Wilkinson. All the names that we recognize. Beckford, McAllister. All the icons. Radaby. Calvin Phillips has become a club legend in, uh, in the game. Peter Lorimer, Charlton Hunter, John Charles. Bielsa became a legend. Good. Eddie Gray, Billy Bremner, uh, Don Reeve, of course. So I'm not on there. Only managed two years, so that's probably why. And Bielsa, of course, is going to go down in club uh, as a club legend in real life, just for getting us promoted after 16 years to the Premier League. So, uh, and rightfully so. I don't see any of the other managers. Wilkinson was, of course, a former manager. Surprised he didn't get an I a legend status, but still an icon. But uh, so not not much in the way of new names. Phillips is up there, and then uh, Tanali came in. So we at least had one player in the bunch still playing at Ellen Road. I wonder if they have some stadiums that they'll just never have replaced. You know, I, I wonder. I don't. I don't know if that's in the game. I don't know. Uh, tactically, they're playing a four-two-three-one, so they certainly changed from what we had. And taking a look at their schedule this last year, solid win against Southampton, knocked out against Blackburn. There's a nice win against Man City. December was a bad month. Back-to-back -back Rose, Roses Derby's losses in league. I saw somebody post about that, but there's a, there seems to be a lot of back-to-back -back matches, and I don't know if that's a scheduling snafu in the coding. Not sure what's causing that. Good run here, even though we drop a lot of points with the draws, but at least not losses outside of Chelsea. So January was a good month. Kind of a rough run there. That's in April. We, we go into a decent run with seven points from four matches. Nothing spectacular. Nothing spectacular. And let's see. Any names I recognize. So Lee Peltier was not my coach. He was with Leeds previously. But here during the game, he would have been... That's as a player. Weird. All right. Um, 2019. Retired from playing and signed by Leeds as their under-18 assistant coach. Okay. So that's uh, that's where he came from. Adam Underwood was the head of youth development. I recognize him. I won't recognize a lot of these names, but there will be a few. Rob Price is actually the real physio, so he was there and has stayed on. Terry Potter, I recognize. All right, so, you know, just kind of looking through. We've looked at transfers. Let's see, 20. Luke Ayling appointed as captain. Stuart Dallas appointed as captain. That was the year I left, so they finished the training facility upgrade. Carabao Cup, FA Cup winners. Well, guys, there's our five-year flash forward. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, let's see, one other thing, I guess. Rec uh, best 11, yeah, let's look at that. So, Rodrigo, Guiri, of course, this does not include the all-time team. This is only from when we played. But we have Meslier in goal, Urente Koch on the back line, Phillips, Tonali in the mid, Guiri, Rafinha, Rodrigo up top, uh, Zinchenko, and uh, the fullbacks, Mitchell and Hayes, are the only players that I had nothing to do with. Also coming on the bench, Stuart Dallas, Jamie Shackleton, Curtis Jones. Uh, so three more players there. I will leave you guys to that. Pause it if you want to take a look at that in more depth. Hit the like button, subscribe, and we, as a teaser, are heading off to...
the Netherlands for our FM21 save. So hope to see you for that. Take care, guys. Bye.